ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Northeast Conference Basketball. I'm John Hoffman by myself tonight. John Henry, a little under the weather. Lynn English taking on Lynn Classical. And uh, our first thoughts are with our servicemen at the prison golf. Uh, our thoughts and our prayers are with them. We've got a couple other messages we're going to pass along as time gives us a chance to. Curtis High takes charge of the tip. Jimmy Holt has the basketball in English, has first possession. <laughs> English in there, typical red and gay, gray, classical in there, white home uniforms with the green trim. Jimmy Holt putting it in play. It's Holt, Andy Diaz, who's 13, Ray Tower 51, Craig High 42, Eric Reps 23. Eric, you can't get it, get out of here. Holt, they're looking inside if they can. Tower gets loose, goes to the basket, can't hit the shot. High with the big rebound, lays it in. The English jumps out on top, two that The English comes in, six and three overall, five and three in the conference. It's a very big game for them as they are looking towards a berth in the, in the state tournament. Classical, also a big game for them. They come in seven and two, six and two in the conference with still an outside shot of catching both Salem and Saugus because they have to play both of them. And of course, Salem still has to play Saugus. So mathematically, Classical still has a shot of a share. Holt goes to the basket, takes the shot, can't get it. Tipped around, high, goes to the floor. On the floor, takes it away from Avery, takes the fall away and hits it. So high with four straight points. And before we go much further, we'd like to uh, say we hope uh, a speedy get well for Bobby McKenna, who uh, helps us with the Hoffman game and does the play-by-play -play on WESX, does the color rather on WESX. Lampros has a shot blocked, gets it back. Goes to the basket, off the glass, no good. High with the big rebound. Bobby, if you get to watch this, we hope you're back soon. Diaz from way outside, hits a three. Seven straight points for English. This is Derek Avery. He's in there with Kimmich, who has the basketball now. This is Joffrey Boyd inside. Gets swallowed up, but gets hit. The foul's gonna be against Reps, and Boyd will go to the free throw line. So it's Avery 25, Boyd 31, Lampros 24, Kimmick 23, and Lex Thornton is number 20. Would also like to pay our respects and offer our deepest sympathies to Nick Lampros, uh, his grandfather passed away, and uh, Nick is here. He thought he should be here with his ball club, and so he's got a little more than a basketball game on his mind this evening. But our sympathies to Nick and the Lampros family. Joffrey Boyd hits the first. So Classical's finally on the board. Makes them both. So English with a lead of 7 to 2, and Classical goes man to man, full court pressure. This is high. This is Holt being covered by Lampros. Gets it over midcourt. At the foul line, this is high. Gets swallowed up, goes to the basket. Holt with a big rebound inside, lays it up no good. English getting three or four shots in the basket, but they travel. Two or three red shirts had the ball, and they wound up traveling. So we played about two and a half minutes. Uh, Classical hasn't got a basket yet. They got two Joffrey Boyd free throws. This is Lampros. Loses it out of bounds. Andy Diaz. In case you're wondering, Diaz is playing in place of Charlie Leslie, who was out. He's been sick for two or three days and is unable to play. He's in street clothes on the bench. This is Holt from outside. Shot is good for two. And Classical is missing their excellent point guard, Dana Wilhelmson, uh, because of school problems, we understand. Tawa almost picks Diaz. Backcourt violation. So the pressure works. Actually, Classical is better off with the backcourt violation. It was almost a clean breakaway by Tower and Diaz. This is Diaz at the foul line. Holt almost has it taken away. Goes to the foul line, tries to get a great pass. Played by Mike Kimmick, just picked off the pass. This is Lampros. Great high, pins it against the backboard. They call it goaltending. So Lampros gets credit with the basket, but a great athletic move by High. 
and a great defensive play by Mike Kimmick down the other end. Holt was trying to hit top, uh, Eric Reps, who was wide open underneath with an easy deuce. And Kimmick made the big defensive play. It's his tower, now it's Thornton making a big defensive play, taking it away. Joffrey Boyd to Avery, goes to the basket, no good. Reps with the rebound. So good end-to-end -end action. People are always talking about installing a shot clock, and in most games we find you wouldn't need one. Certainly not so far in this one. Classical knocks them out of bounds, 9-4. English with a quick five-point lead. They ran the first seven points of the ball game. Tower with the basketball, gets swallowed up in the corner. Interrupts, fakes once, goes to the basket. Lays it up and in, he's gonna go to the free throw line. Reps with a nice driving underhand scoop shot. And Reps will be looking to convert the conventional three-point play. We have our first substitution. George Stalling is in the ballgame, 33 for Glasgow in place of Nick Lampros. Reps hits nothing but net. Completes the three-point play, and it's 12-4. We've played three minutes. And English has come out very quickly, very strong. Inside, lob pass, high went for the pass, missed it, Stallings gets the easy layup, and it's 12-6 Bulldogs. This is Tower to the foul line. Underneath to Reps, can't get the shot, but he's hit, and he'll go to the free throw line. So Tower did the job, made good penetration, got down inside the foul line, dumped it down to Reps, who was open, and the only thing Class could, could do was foul him, making her at the free throw line. Thornton is out, Calvin Johnson is in. Calvin Johnson is number 30. Reps hits the free throw. Misses. <laughs> High with the rebound, lays it in. So High has got six quick points, and that's a nine point balls for the Bulldogs. 15 to six. And Glasgow's gonna take a time off to talk about it. As we mentioned, Glasgow coming in, six and two in the conference, seven and two overall. They trail second place Salem by one game, first place Sargas by two. And, uh, I'm sure Coach Tommy Grasso was worried that even though it's a big intercity rivalry with English, they have a huge game coming up. The next game is against Sargas and the next game is against Salem. So certainly no easy task for the Rams, but they have a chance if they could win all three of these games to uh, still get a share of first place as we mentioned before. What, what it would take would be for Salem to upset, or not, I shouldn't use the word upset, to defeat Sargas, and that would give Sargas, Classical, and Salem two losses apiece, and it would a virtual three-way tie. But right now, Classical has to worry about the Bulldogs, who will come out really fired up. The one thing they didn't want was Craig Hyde to get off quickly, and this is what he's done. English goes to a 2-3 zone. The shot is up, no good. Calvin Johnson comes away with the loose basketball. This is Johnson from outside. Shot is no good. Tip, tip from high to Tower. Tower pulls it back out now. Gives it outside to Diaz. Cross court to Holt. Steps up for the jump shot. Hits it for three. Holt has five and it's a 12 point lead. Referee Jackie Squires wants to fix the net. And this could be a first in my, all the recollections I have is this could be the first game we're, we're doing with Jack Squires officiating that we can't announce that the Squires family are gonna have a new baby. Every time we do a game with Jack Squires, he comes over and says to me, say hi to my wife and my family, and we're gonna have a baby. That foul is gonna be against Craig High. I asked Jack when we walked in tonight, any news, he said, uh, 
on which front? And I said, the Squires front. And he said, no, no news. So that kind of takes a little luster off the basketball game as far as the Squires family is concerned. High with his first foul of the ball game. Two fouls apiece on classical and English. And this is Avery at the free throw line. First one is no good. Looking for the second one. No good again. Tip knocked out of bounds. Classical basketball. And Lampros had all he could do to hold off from committing a violation going in the lane too soon. English now stays in a 2-3 zone. Avery. Calvin Johnson has it go right through his hands out of bounds. The turnover gives it to English. And Classical now goes full court pressure. Holt with the basketball. Almost has it taken away, knocked out of bounds. Tower going to the basket. Looking for the bounce pass. Kimmick with another defensive play, knocks it away. And this is Kimmick. Cross court to Calvin Johnson. Goes baseline, throws it up over high, and you can see the presence of Craig High in the middle of that zone. They were about to give it to Glasgow. Now they change it around and give it to English. This is Tower. The long down court pass. Nice Gives it a high. Nice Left handed, no good. Rebounded by Kimmick. This is Calvin Johnson with the shot. It's good. Again, Classical with full court pressure. And it pays off. They throw the ball away. Looking for Diaz. They threw it high over his head out of bounds. 18-8. The Bulldogs on top. We played six minutes here in the first half. Kimmick with the basketball. He's in there with Johnson, Avery, Lampros. And stalling. Inside the stalling. Nice pass by Kimmick. Nice job of moving the basketball. Kimmick found the open man. Greg High. And I don't think Coach Ronnie Bennett wants to see a 6-7 guard bring the ball up court. They prefer him to dump the ball off and get inside. This is Andy Diaz. Classical now goes into a 2-3 zone. Tower from three-point lane has it blocked. Johnson with the loose basketball. Pushing it up. Looking for Lampros. Great play by Lampros to keep it in balance. The stalling, he lays it in. Great athletic move by Nick Lampros. And Clasco gets back within six, 18 to 12. High, the foul is going to be against Calvin Johnson. Again, full court pressure as we get Derek Wilkerson replacing Calvin Johnson. Pascal with the 1 2 2, full court pressure. This is Tower. Tower gets it over half court. This is High. Goes to the basket, takes the shot. No good. Offensive foul. Craig High, his second. He had the short jump shot, but chose to take it to the basket and went right over George Stalling. So Clasco creeping back in. They trail by as many as 12. They've cut that in half right now. A chance to cut it even further. Lampros inside to Stalling. The turnaround is good. But Stalling has come in to give him some great offense here. English has to call timeout now as Clasco comes roaring back. George Stalling. Comes in off the bench, eight points, four quick baskets, and a couple of big defensive plays. And after it was 18 to six, Classical has run eight straight points. And they've cut that deficit from 12 to four with 838 left to play here in the first half. Mostly on the play of George Stone, as we mentioned. He didn't stop the ball game, but he's got four hoops. And the full court pressure really seems to be bothering English right now. They'd rather be a little patient, slow the ball down, and 
the up tempo has got them up tempo all the way through when they get the ball over half court they're still not being as patient as, as their coaching staff would like and it's paying dividends for classical so as we come back for classical it's Lamprose, Wilkerson, Stalling, Kimmich and Avery it's Reps, Holt, Tower, Diaz and High English yet to make a substitution Tower with the basketball cross court to Holt looking inside to Diaz cross court to Holt underneath to Reps fakes takes the shot hits it Reps doing a nice job getting stalling in the air on a fake went by him and laid it in 20 to 14 Lampros to Kimmich to the foul line the shot by Kimmich is good Mike Kimmich with a nice job fake left brought it back to the foul line hit the shot Kimmich and Lampros combined for what they thought was going to be a steal but somebody stepped out of bounds not much room over there with the crowd almost on the floor this is Simon Fialo coming in for Nick Lampros. Holt to Diaz. Classical going 2-3. Tower to Diaz to the foul line. Has it slammed off the backboard, a big block inside. Now it goes to Reps. Can't get the shot to fall. We're going to have a foul inside. Fialo, the foul is on. Simon Fialo will just come in the ball game. And it'll be Eric Reps at the free throw line. 7.40 left to play in the first half. English on top by six. Joffrey Boyd's coming back in the ball game. Stalling is coming out. It's a nice hand. Give them some excellent minutes off the bench. I'm sure we'll see him back very quickly. So Rex makes them both. 22-16. As Kimmich brings it up over half court. Avery with the long outside shot. No good. High has it knocked away by Avery. Loses it out of bounds, however. It'll be English basketball as Calvin Johnson replaces Avery. So for classical, it's Boyd, Wilkerson, Kimmich, Johnson, and Fialo. And they throw the pass away, so the pressure again pays off for the Rams. Kimmich to put it in play. Johnson from deep in the corner. No good. Rebound by Fialo. Lays it in. I went up a little too soon looking for the rebound. Pass thrown away. Joffrey Boyd. Big play by Diaz. Saved it. Ahead to high. Foul by Kimmich. Kimmich did the only thing he could do, but a great play by Andy Diaz to save it. And then a no-look pass from Tower. It's a non-shooting foul. If Kimmich doesn't foul, Craig I is going to slam it home. This is Tower. Inside to Holt. Goes to the basket, lays it in. Nice little give and go. From Holt to Tower, back to Holt. 24-18. Kimmick, Fialo, this is Johnson. Hits the shot. So Calvin Johnson finding some open room in the, in the zone in the corner has hit two shots in a row. And the lead is four. High. Tower. Looked like he was waiting for it to come back. Johnson against High lays it in. And they're back within two. Tower looking to go to the basket. Gives it the reps. We're going to have a foul against Kimmich. So Klaska really scratching and digging to get back in. They're in foul trouble now. Any foul by Klaska will send English to the free throw line, while English has three to waste with 624. So a lot of time left here in the first half as Kimmich and Wilkerson come out 
Avery and Lampros are back, so Classical using a lot of bodies. Avery almost with the steal. Diaz gets it back, throws up the three. No good. Retz gets a hand on it. Avery brings it down ahead to Johnson. Uses it, gets it back. Fiala with the shot, jump shot, hits it. And the game is tied with six minutes left. Glasgow has battled back from a 12-point deficit. Tao is going to get called for traveling. And Glasgow has the first opportunity to take the lead. 5.55 left in the first half. 24-24. English started out really strong in the first five, four or five minutes, and they've cooled off considerably against the full court pressure by Classical. Lampros goes to the basket, dumps it down to Fialo. Out to Avery. This is Lampros. Goes to the foul line, takes the shot, and hits it. And Classical has the lead, 26-24. Again, they're doubling the basketball, any chance they get. High at the free throw line. Takes the short jump shot, it's good. He's got eight, and we're tied again at 26. Avery to Johnson, going baseline. Has it blocked nicely by Holt from behind. But old Mr. Momentum is now on the side of the Rams. George Stalling replaces Fialo. And Tommy Grassi getting some excellent minutes and offense from his, from his bench. This is Stalling. Lays it in. Stalling is in double figures. And Classical leads 28-26. Tower to Reps. Goes through his hands out of bounds. 4.57 left to play in the first half. 28-26 the Rams. This is Lampros. Long three-point shot by Lampros, no good. Boyd went way up for the rebound, loses it. Lampros gets it back. It's loose. Avery, Boyd with it. Bodies all over the place. Lampros goes to the basket. Too strong. Joffrey Boyd has it deflected out from Calvin Johnson. Off the rim, no good. Stolle can't get the shot to fall. Tipped around, Diaz gets it. The foul is gonna be against Classical, and we have a body on the floor. It's Eric Reps, but if I know Eric, and he is, I was just about to say he'll get right back up again. Got the seven? Yeah. One and one. One and one. Blow the horn. One and one. One and one. You, might, you could hear Ronnie Bennett behind me yelling the penalty situation. You want to try and get it before they get the ball in bounds. Classical is over the limit, as we mentioned before. 428 left. Andy Diaz will be at the free throw line. But uh, a lot of action on the offensive boards that time. Classical getting numerous opportunities, if not getting the rebound, getting a hand on, keeping it alive. Diaz finally stemmed the tide. And he's looking now to try and make one plus the penalty to get English back into a tie. Can't get the fall. Boyd takes it away from Lampros, and this is Avery bringing it up. Ahead to Stalling. Takes the shot, no good. Rebounded by High. The foul is going to be against Calvin Johnson, I believe. So it'll be Craig High going to the free throw line. Two. Mike, and that's all. English still with three fouls to waste before Glasgow would get in this shooting situation with 4.19 left, as Lex Thornton replaces Calvin Johnson. High at the free throw line, and he'll have a chance to tie the ball game up if he can make one plus the penalty. Makes the first. He's got nine, he could also draw, join George Stalling from Classical as the high scorer in the ball game. 28-27, as High gets ready for the penalty shot. Hangs there, falls through for him. So he's got 10, and we're tied at 28. As Derek Avery brings it up. This is Lampros. 
The shot jumps up on Lamprose, no good. Knock out of bounds, off Eric Reps. It'll be classical basketball. Avery taking out of bounds. This is Thornton. Lamprose. They're looking to set a screen up for Avery to take the three pointer from the corner. The pass is a little bit behind him out of bounds, and English takes over the turnover, and they get a chance to get the lead back. 28-28 with four minutes straight up to play in the first half. Tower Diaz, Holt. Nice pass from high to reps, he lays it in. Good ball movement that time by the Bulldogs. 30-28, Bulldogs. Avery with the long shot from outside, is good for three. 31-30 the Rams as we go back and forth. Diaz, Holt, almost lost it, gets it back. Again. Diaz, they like to go inside if they could. Holt with the straightaway jump shot, good for three. So Holt answers right back the three-point shot by Avery, and English is back on top, 33-31. And you can't get any better than this, folks. 33-31, back and forth. An exciting basketball game, and we watched the JV game, and the JV game went right down to the wire, and a couple of people said to me they only hope the varsity game will be as good. So far, it's matched it stride for stride. 33-31, 320 left, and uh, everybody getting into the act. Seven players have been the scoring column for classical. English has bunched theirs in four. The only starter not, they've only used five players, Ray Tower. The only person that's played the game so far that hasn't scored for English. So we're matching threes, matching baskets, matching free throws. We mentioned before, a very important game for English. They still have to play classical again, Salem, Sargas. And uh, you can only lose eight. And uh, no, so they're with three losses. They still have to play a lot of the iron, as well as an outside game out of the conference. So, Kimmick, straightaway shot by Avery, too strong. We get a foul underneath, it's against Jimmy Holt. A non-shooting foul. This is Avery from the corner. Let's it fire, no good. Hit the guide wire up above. Out of bounds, so it'll be English basketball. That was the play they tried to set up before when the ball was thrown behind Avery and out of bounds. That time he got the shot off, but a little too strong. High with the basketball. This is Holt. Tatawa. And again, you know, the errors are important for classical if they can force them. In that case, it was an unforced error. They had an easy pass to tell wide open. And they forced it. Kimmick can't hit the shot. Big rebound by Thornton, he lays it in. Thornton becomes the eighth player for classical score, and he almost stole the ball away from high. <laughs> you would think they would have a big advantage just lobbing the ball up to high, and he could throw the ball down court. But now they break it a little easier. Holt gets it. And this is Andy Diaz outside with the basketball. Again, they look. This is Holt. From straight away, he lets it fly. No good. Stalling with the big rebound, knocked out of bounds by Eric Reps. 33-33 is the score. Biggest lead of the game was 12 points by English early in the ball game. Glasgow has dug back. Took a lead by as many as two. Now we've been going back and forth. Stalling with the turnaround is good. A big first half for George Stalling. That's 12. Thornton with the big steal. Underneath the Avery lays it in. Thornton showing his quick quickness there. The foul is going to be against Avery. Thornton is used to anticipating being a good running back and a good defensive halfback for the classical football team. 
Used to picking off quite a few passes on defense. And Classical opens up their biggest lead of the ball game, 37-33, with 1.55 left. And Andy Diaz at the free throw line, looking to cut into that. It's not going to count. Craig High was in too soon. So the foul shot doesn't count. The lead stays at four for the Rams as Kimmich brings it up. It's Kimmich, Thornton, Calvin Johnson, Stalling, and Joffrey Boyd. Diaz misses the steal. Kimmich takes it to the basket, lays it in. A great play by Mike Kimmich. He rolled it in. This is high. Bounce pass. Trying to get it back to high, picked off inside by Thornton again. Thornton with a basket and two steals. It's Kimmich again, knocked out of bounds. It'll be classical basketball, 123 left and a half. Classical with a nine point advantage. Mike Kimmich looking to put it in play. This is Johnson. English staying in their 2 3 zone. At the foul line to Joffrey Boyd, the turnaround, no good. Holt with the rebound. English needs a basket here. This is Tower. Diaz to Tower. Underneath the reps. Lays it in. Nice underhand scoop shot. Caught it on the way to the basket. One motion. Laid it underhand and in. Reps has got 12, and the lead is now 4, 39-35. Thornton from way outside, no good. High with the rebound. Craig looking to push it up. Stops at the foul line, takes the shot. Bounces around, no good. Stalling with the big rebound. This is Thornton. Kimmich throws it away and out of bounds. 23 seconds left in the half. English with a chance to cut into the four point advantage. English will hold for the last shot. Holt will see who they go to. They'd like to get it inside to high if they can. Class was going to force him to take the shot from outside if they can. Reps gets hit as he goes to the basket. He'll go to the free throw line with. Four seconds left on the clock. 24. And again, 24. they put so much pressure on high inside that reps had the whole baseline open. Tower found him. He had a clear path. The only thing Classical could do was follow him. Hey, get a watch. Gotta get back. So reps at the free throw line. Makes the first. Lamp Rose is back in the ball game, replacing Thornton. Derek Avery in the ball game, replacing Joffrey Boyd. Trying to get some long range shooters in. He knows the shot at best would come from half court. With only four seconds left. Reps hangs there, falls through for him. Craig it back! Craig steals high with the shot. He hit it at the buzzer. A big play. High took a chance. He could have been called for his third foul. Made the clean steal. Couldn't hit the shot. And an exciting first half of basketball. Classical, who trailed by 12 early, came back to lead by as many as six. English cut it to two at halftime, 39-37. Don't go away. It's going to be an exciting second half. We'll be right back. Welcome right, back to Classical High School as we start the second half. The Rams, after trailing by as many as 12 early, have got a 39-37 lead at halftime. Looking at the scoring, it was all George Stalling. He's got 12 of the, of the 39, but they've got a host of people. Lamprose with four, Boyd with two, Avery with five, Kimmich with four, Calvin Johnson with six, Thornton with two, Fiala with four. On the other side of the ledger, no substitutions. English going with five guys. Craig High has 10, Holt has 10, Reps leading all scorers with 14, Indy Diaz with three, and it's 39-37 as Classical has the first possession. English right back in the 2-3 zone. This is Avery going baseline. Has it knocked from behind? Blow it up, this is Tower. Rips with a big defensive play for English. And now it's Classical with 
what amounts to a 2-1-2. Two -two. Stalling has come up to the foul line to cover high. Diaz with the long three-point shot, no good. Lampros with the rebound. This is Kimmich going baseline. Takes the shot, hangs there, drops in for him. So the left-hander goes, goes left, makes the layup. Tower, cross court to Holt. Boyd almost picked it off. Diaz, looking for high on the free throw line. Drop it down to Reps. Lampros gets a hand, knocks it to Avery. Down court to Kimmich. Going against Diaz. Can't get the fall, tipped up. Kimmich gets it back. All by himself and lays it in. So Kimmick manufactures a four-point classical run by himself. And it's 43-37. Tower fakes the pass. Now he gives it a hold. Tower underneath the reps against Lampros. Big block by Lampros. Almost saved by Stalling, went out of bounds. He dropped it down. Three classical plays there, and they all played. You got it, no, I got it. Went off a classical shirt, out of bounds. English gets the basketball back. This is Tower. Chased by Kimmich. Tower, underneath the reps, lays it in a great play by Tower. Went to the foul line, reps all by himself. Underneath Tower found him and it's 43-39, the Rams. Kimmich gets swallowed up, out deep to Avery. Goes to the basket, can't get the fall. High with the rebound, Stalling loses it. Bullet, big block by High. All the way back off the half court. Lampros chases it down. Kimmich, the fall away by Kimmich, no good. High with the rebound, the foul will be against Joffrey Boyd. Hand, you see in the screen, two of the better officials, Billy Linehan and Jackie Squires. And Jack told me if I don't say hi to Ryan, Sean, Lindsay, and then Debbie. Debbie, that's the order he told me that I, he'll be in trouble. So we've got that out of the way. We can get on with the rest of the ball game. Lob pass to Tower in the corner. Again, goes to the foul line. Shot blocked by Kimmick. Tower gets it back to Reps. Can't get the fall. High with the rebound. High underneath, Stalling rips it away. Avery gets the loose basketball. Blocks right into the hands. Diaz with a big defensive play. High loses it to Avery to Kimmich. Up and down action. Kimmich can't get the fall. Diaz tips it away, Stalling gets it back, can't hit it. Tipped up by Holt to save. No points, but a lot of action. Hope straight away, no good. Hope gets his own rebound, out to Diaz. Fix, dumps it underneath the reps, can't get the shot to fall. Gets his own rebound, lays it in and gets fouled. <laughs> so we saw Kimmich come out and run four points for classical. Now reps does the same thing on two nice feeds, one from Tower, one from Diaz. And we're back where we're at halftime. A two-point classical lead with reps with a chance to eat into that from the free throw line. Rolls around, falls through. So English creeps back within one. Forty-three, forty-two. Kimmich walks it up. Now it's Avery. This is Lampros. Diaz goes for the steal, misses Kimmich to the basket, can't hit it. Big rebound by Boyd, big block by Craig High, out of bounds. Simon Fiala was gonna come in the ball game replacing Stalling. So a much smaller classical team on the court now. Avery goes to the basket, blocked again by High. They took it right into the teeth of the defense and High was equal to the task. 12 minutes left to play in the ball game. High, can't hit the shot. Tipped around, Tower gets it, loses it. Lampros comes up with a loose basketball. High takes it away. Looking at stuff and misses the shot. Goes to the basket, can't hit the shot, he's gonna go to the free throw line. 
And Craig Hyde could have easily have laid the ball in, but went for the stuff and didn't get it. Now he's have to go, going to have to go to the free throw line. So Klaus was going to take a timeout to talk about it. They were up two at halftime. Kim had come out quickly, got two baskets, pushed it up to six. But then Eric Reps took charge, ran five points, won a conventional three-point play. And we're right back to our English within a point. Craig Hyde going to the free throw line with a chance to, to tie or give them the lead. We, uh, we gave you a little misinformation on the, the stats. Coming in this ballgame, Classical is 8-2 and two overall, 7-2 and two in the conference. English is 6-4 and four overall. We forgot about the loss. We didn't update our records with the loss to Marblehead on Wednesday night. Tuesday night, excuse me. So they are 5-4 and four in the conference, 6-4 and four overall. And the game becomes that much more important for the Bulldogs when you figure they have to play Classical again, Saugus and Salem. Uh, and their outside ball game as well. Uh, they've got a lot of tough games to play. And 12 wins is the magic number. So as we saw in the first half, Classical very quickly in foul trouble. Three fouls in the first four and a half minutes. English has none as High gets set shooting two. Gets nothing but iron with the first one. <clears throat> so the best you can do here is tie it up. Makes one of two. So the four point run has been obliterated from classical side of the ledger with a six point run by English and we're tied at 43. So classical now looking to stop a six point English run. Going against the 2 3 zone with Mr. High in the middle. This is Lampros going to the basket. Left hander hangs there, won't fall. Boy with the big rebound, lays it in and gets fouled. Joffrey Boy doing a nice job. Lampros off the rim. No good, but Joffrey Boy was there to clean house. Laid it in, and the foul is important as well. It's against Craig High, which is his third. First foul on English here in the second half as Boyd looking to extend the lead to three for Classical. Makes the shot. So the three point play by Boyd makes it a three point lead. And Classical. We got a timeout. Andy Diaz got really tied up, had no place to go with the basketball, and very alertly called timeout. Otherwise, it would have been a turnover. So 11.26 left to play here in the ballgame, 46-43. And so far in the second half, it's been a streak of points by both teams. Kimmick ran four, Reps ran five, Craig High made a free throw, making it six for English. And then Joffrey Boyd made it, made three points, the conventional three-point play, to get the lead back up to three for the Rams, 46-43. They're still in a little bit of foul trouble. They've got several players with two or three fouls. They have three fouls already here in the second half with a lot of time left on the clock. English, as we mentioned, with only one. And English with the basketball now. Classical takes the press off. And what we might see is a trap at half court. Okay, Craig. And that's exactly what we're going to see. Tower to high. Bounces underneath the reps. Lays it in. Good, strong move for the basket by reps. He was blocked by Lampros. But he used his real good strength to get the shot off and lay it in. So 46-45, as we keep going back and forth, Kimmick picked off by Holt. He anticipated a pass, stepped in, picked it off, and English with a chance to take the lead. Good heads-up defensive play by Jimmy Holt. This is Tower. Come on, Ray. Holt. Underneath the reps. Fix goes to the basket. Big block by Lampros. Get way up in the air and got that one. Holt takes the shot, can't hit it. High with the rebound. Lays it in. So High found a good spot on the missed shot by Holt. He was off by himself. Laid it in and English gets the lead back. 47-46. This is Fialo inside the free throw line. 
Lampros with the straightaway jump shot. Can't hit it. High loses it, gets it back. Two on two with Tawa. Stop, takes the shot, jump shot. Misses. Gets his own rebound. Hits the shot. He's going to go to the free throw line. High doing an excellent job rebounding his own miss. Forty-nine, forty-six is the score. They haven't put the basket up yet. Where's the basket? Now they get the basket up. So forty-nine, forty-six. As High looking to make a three-point play. Hangs there. Can't get the fall. Rips with a big rebound inside. Fall away. No good. High with the rebound. High gets it again and lays it in. Good job by English off the offensive boards. 51-46. The Bulldogs on top. Nine and a half minutes left to play here in the ball game. Kimmick going to the basket. Reach around by high, and that's a very important foul. It's now number four. And that's going to send Mr. Hyde to the to the bench. So the first substitution for Lynn English, Chris Alley, number 24 in the ball game. This is Kimmick, and we'll see if they go inside. Johnson goes to the basket and lays it in. So with Craig High out of there, they immediately go right to the basket. This is Holt to Diaz. Traveling. And again, the unforced mistake are the ones that really hurt. Diaz, they had broken the, the pressure rather easily that time. And Diaz, in his anticipation to get the ball to Tower, took an extra step. 51-48. English. This is Thornton. It's Thornton, Starling, Lampros, Kimmick, and Johnson for Glasgow. Johnson with a long three-point shot, no good. Thornton with the big rebound inside. Kimmick to Johnson. This is Lampros posting up. Back to Calvin Johnson. Kimmick with the shot over Alley. No good. The foul is going to be against Clasco for pushing off. The foul is against Lampros, and Derek Avery will come in replacing Kimmick. This is Tower. Again, we mentioned the foul trouble. Bodies on the floor, the ball went off. Ray Tower's foot out of bounds. The foul situation is classical as a team has committed five. They only have one to waste. English has committed only two. They have four to waste. Lampros with a long three-point shot is good. And we're tied at 51. This is Alley to Tower, to Reps. Going against Stalling, ducks his head. Hangs there, can't get the fall. Johnson with the rebound. Three on two for the moment. Johnson goes to the basket, lays it in. Johnson took it coast to coast. And Glasgow is back in the lead. And that fourth ball against High is looking a lot bigger right now. <laughs> So we've seesawed back and forth and back and forth, and now it's Glasgow's turn to take the lead, 53-51, as we're looking at Tommy Grasser in the huddle talking to his ball club. Eight eighteen, and we'll be watching to see how much time elapses before Mr. High comes back in the ball game. And it's a really tough to have the fourth foul picked up on a reach for your big man. Uh, that's one that gives the coaches gray hair. The big three-point shot by Lampros. And then the big rebound by Johnson. He took it coast to coast. Laid it in. 53-51. 8-18 left to play. And we got a 
brief time while we get rid of a few objects on the court which we don't even bother looking at. English, they finally get it into Alley. This is Holt going against Johnson. Gets swallowed up, gets to the tower. To Reps, the shot, jump shot by Reps is no good. Alley looking for the rebound. Gets loose. Diaz tips it, stalling, gets it. Johnson with Avery. Johnson lays it in. Delvin Johnson with four big points. And it's a four point lead, and we got to reach it. It's going to be against Lex Thornton. And that's the limit for Glasgow. From now on, English will go to the free throw line. This is Diaz. Holt, long cross court pass. They got a break completing that one. Tower with the outside shot for three. 55 54. Big pressure shot by Tower. Calvin Johnson can't hit the shot. Johnson with his own rebound. Avery now. Johnson again from deep in the corner. Rolls it around and in. It's two. They gave him two on the shot. Tower drops it down to reps. Big block by Lampros. Diaz to hope. We got a whistle. Stop is in play. Reps is down on the floor. Lampros with the big block inside. Reps went to the floor. 57-54, Clasco on top, 7-11 left in the ball game. Kimmich, for the, during the stoppage, replaces Lex Thornton in the ball game. Jimmy Holt will put it in play. So we finally things get straightened away. Billy Linehan and Jackie Squires get things under control. And English needs a basket here. They trail by three. Diaz to Holt, the straightaway shot. Off the glass and in for three. Looked like he misdirected it because of the pressure. He threw it a high arching shot, kissed off the glass, and we're tied at 57. Lambros. Avery in the corner, no good, the rebound by Reps. So English with a chance to get the lead back, and I, folks, you can't get any better than this. 57-57. This is Tower. And I'm almost surprised that English isn't taking some air out of the basketball, making Classic come up, play man to man, and also give him a chance to run the clock down and get Mr. High back. Looking for a good shot. Diaz had it knocked away. We're going to turn over. Turn the ball over. Looking for the pass. And it's going to be English's basketball. And English was looking for a foul call. Glasgow was protesting the turnover. Everything works back because English got the basketball back like nothing happened. This is Reps in the corner. Tower. Under six minutes to play in the ball game. So English, with this unit on the floor, has been able to stay close, keep it, and if, in fact, they're tied now on Tower's three pointer. Corner, corner, corner! Underneath the reps, he lays it in! A great move by Tower and a great move by Reps. Reps get loose along the baseline. Tower found him, and English gets the lead back 59 57. As we mentioned, due to that, they've been able to keep Mr. High on the bench for a long stretch of time. Avery from the corner, no good. Holt looking for it. Off stalling out of bounds. 59-57, 5.18 left, and Classical calls the timeout to talk about it. So we look, 5.18 left to play in the ballgame. 59-57 as we go back and forth, and uh, 
John Henry, when you watch this, you're probably going to be sorry that you were ill tonight because this is probably the best game we've done all year. I say we because we're still a partnership. Yeah. Yeah. No. Glasgow is at the limit. Any foul by Glasgow will send English to the free throw line. English has four fouls to waste. Very important with 518 left to play in a ball game, as we see Ronnie Bennett talking to his troops. But the most important thing here is the last two or three minutes, English has been able to stay even and get the lead after they were behind with Craig High on the bench with four fouls. And they've been able to give him a good long rest and not have to go to him. And they still don't have to go to him because they've got the lead and the ball with 518 left. Diaz gets the inbounds pass. Looking for Alley throws it up over his head and out of bounds. And the pressure really told the story that time. The pressure defense has been a big factor in the ballgame for classical. Lampros with the straightaway jump shot is good. And we're tied. Stop, 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 stop. Hope has to call timeout. He can't get the ball in bounds. And as he calls timeout with 501 left to play in the ballgame, Craig High is back in the ballgame. And what happens now? Both teams with one timeout left in the ballgame and a lot of time left in the clock, 501, tied at 59. And the biggest lead of the ballgame was 12 by English to start. They went out front 18 to 6 early. But then the full court pressure of classical started to pay off. And they crept back in, had a, a two point lead at halftime. Classical built it up to six points as they started the second half. English came right back, built it up to three. Classical went back. And where we are now is 59 59 with 501 left. English with the basketball. What happened? They lob it up. They can't get it to high. Kimmick with the steal. Moose picked up by Lampros. Goes to the basket. Can't hit the shot. Rebound by Reps. And Diaz is going to walk it up. Under five minutes left to play in the ball game now. Coming up on four and a half. Tower. And we'll see how much the rest has helped Craig High. Cross court pass. High tower rather from inside the foul line. Can't hit it. Stalling with the big rebound. This is Kimmick. Over half court. Johnson with the long three point shot. No good. High with the big rebound. Took it away from Stalling. Went high in the air. Coming up on four minutes to play in the ball game. We told you how important this is for English. High goes to the basket and lays it in. And George Stalling comes limping off the court. Joffrey Boyd is back in the ball game for him. Eric, you gotta get out of the corner on here. 61-59 Bulldogs. Under four minutes to play in the ball game. Kimmick with the basketball. This is Lampros. Avery along the baseline. Has it knocked out of bounds by Holt from behind. Good defensive play by Jimmy Holt. What's inside? Avery inbounds to Johnson. One guy on him. Drop Jimmy. Drop. Long cross court pass to Kimmick. We told you before, English with four fouls to waste. This is Boyd inside. Going against High. Can't hit it high with the big rebound. And you can see the intimidation there. Made Joffrey Boyd alter his shot. And now English with a chance to extend their lead and put some pressure on the Rams. Diaz across the tower. Underneath the reps. Gets it in close to High. Who hits the shot. So High has come back. To hit four straight points. That last one, a nice pass from Reps. It's a four point lead for the Bulldogs. Three minutes to play. Johnson with a great drive, went right through Craig High. Jay! The young man putting on a show here in the second half with 10 points. None better than that one right there. And Classical needed it. 63 61. Tower for three. In. Hands there, falls through. 
Dallas only got two baskets, but both from the three-pointers. Johnson again. Lays it in. Calvin. Two and a half minutes left to play the ball game. English by three. This is high. Goes to the basket, gets grabbed by Joffrey Boyd. He'll go to the free throw line. Classical in the penalty. English still with four fouls to waste. Again, a very important weapon at the disposal of the English Bulldogs. Two twenty-three left. High trying to extend the three-point lead of the Bulldogs. Go, Joe, baby. Makes the first. He'll get the bonus. A 12-point second half by High, including the fact he sat down for about four minutes. He's got 22 overall. Reps with 21, leading the way. The lead is now four. Craig High trying to make it five. Hangs there, doesn't go, stalling with the rebound. This is Avery. Watch Calvin, watch Calvin! Plenty of time left. Coming up on two minutes. Classical needs two possessions, two scores. English has those four fouls to waste. Help out Andy! Johnson going to the basket. The foul is gonna be against Jimmy Holt. We'll see whether it's a shooting foul or not. They're calling it on a pass off. So it'll be from underneath, a non-shooting foul. Avery will put it in play. In the corner of Johnson, outside to Kimmick. This is Avery. Kimmick outside, fakes the shot, goes to the free throw line, takes it, hangs there, no good. High with the big rebound. Under two minutes to play in the ball game. Diaz has it taken away by Johnson. He lays it in. A big play by Calvin Johnson. This is Tower. Almost has it taken away by Johnson. Hope goes to the basket and lays it in. 69, 65. Glasgow wants a timeout to talk about it. 120 left to play in the ball game. And we've yet to see the fouls come into play for the Bulldogs. Now they have three to waste. Glasgow over the penalty. With 120 left, I'm sure we're going to see English if they can hold on here and get a rebound on a, off a miss by Glasgow. They'll be looking to run some clock with a four-point advantage, making Classical foul. With a two-point advantage, we might not see that. We might see them just look to score. So both teams scratching and clawing to come back from deficits. This time it's English's turn. Ray Tower came up big with two big three-point shots. Holt with a nice drive along the baseline, kissed it off the glass for a basket. Let's go, Craig, baby. And it's 69-65 Bulldogs, as we see Ronnie Bennett and Jimmy Doyle talking to the troops. The English has gone virtually all the way with reps Diaz, Holt, and Tower. High was out of the ball game only because of foul trouble. So Alley is the only sub for English for three or four minutes while High got a rest with his fouls. Classical has used anywhere from 10 or 11 players. Big trip down court here for Classical. They have to score. Big block inside. Holt comes up with a loose basketball. High again with the big block. This is Johnson looking to go against Diaz. Tower with the basketball. Ten seconds. They didn't get it across. Excellent defense by Stalling and Calvin Johnson. 59 seconds left in the ball game. This is Johnson, goes to the basket, takes the shot, can't hit it. Rebound by High. High, down court to Tau, he pulls it back out. Diaz with 
Johnson the basketball. Calvin Johnson from behind with the reach. 41 seconds left. Diaz going to the free throw line. And what English is going to have to do now is make their free throws down the stretch. Foul shooting, very important. Diaz. Look, can't hit the first one. High with a big rebound. Going to get called for traveling. Jack Squires right there to make the call. Tipped it himself, took a couple of steps. 40 seconds left. A four point advantage for the Bulldogs. Classical with no timeouts left in the ballgame, so if they score, they can't call timeout. Johnson from the corner. No good. He can hit. He's going to go to the free throw line. Jimmy Holt with the foul. Calvin Johnson, who's put on a show here, he's got 20. It was George Stalling in the first half. It's been Calvin Johnson here in the second half. He's got 14 points. He'd like to get two more here and get Classical within two. That's it. A lot of pressure on this young freshman. Can't get the fall. Kimmick with a big rebound inside. Avery dishes it off the board. We got a foul outside against Diaz. So, classical doing what they want to do. It was not a shooting foul. I was about to say they could score while the clock is not moving. But now it's, they call it an on-shooting foul. So, English with still two fouls to waste. Get on 24 seconds left. They need a three-point shot. Kimmich goes in the lane, hits the shot. English by one. Kelvin Johnson with 12 ticks left on the clock. Lampros is coming in the ball game. English still has two fouls to waste. Excuse me, one foul to waste. So they could foul Classical and not have the, and stop the clock and not let Classical get a shot off. Holt could make it very easy by making two here. Makes the first. A two-point lead for the Bulldogs. Jimmy Holt gets ready. Pressure free throws by Jimmy Holt. 71, 68. Kimmich. Pascal needs a three. Kimmich lets it fly. No good. Out of bounds. Five seconds left in the ball game. English. They get it in bounds to Diaz. They throw it up court. We get a foul on Diaz in the backcourt with four seconds left on the clock. The foul is against Lampros. And the fans, we may have a little delay here as the fans are now starting to file out. And when you file out a classical step by the stands, you're on the court. Andy Diaz at the free throw line. The strategy here is if he makes one, English will just get out of the way and let classical go. They could not do anything even with a three-point shot. And I'm not sure English realizes that they still have a foul to waste, that they could foul and run some time off. Everybody back at half court for English, except Diaz shooting it around the rim and out. Lampros gets to half court, lets it fly off the glass, no good. 
The final score, English wins the squeaker. A great ball game by both clubs, 71-68. We'll take a break, we'll be back. With